Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Lisa Lachendro. I am one of the annuity sales directors here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Um, I've got Rob Markovic on the phone as well, and we're going to talk to you guys about preset appointments. Um, one thing that we see that's always, you know, always a desire and always a need in our industry is how are we going to get you guys in front of new folks? How are we going to generate that activity without it taking hours and hours of your week um, to do so? So that's, uh, that's going to be our topic for today's webinar. I do see we have quite the group. We will try to answer as many questions in the question box as we can. Um, but out of respect for everybody's time, we definitely want to make sure that we're wrapping this up on a timely manner as well. So anytime, feel free to put those questions in the question box. If we don't get to your question, I guarantee you I'm going to call you today or tomorrow and uh, we can hash out any questions that you have. Um, I do see a lot of folks already working with us here at IMS. So for you already in the IMS family, I like to say, uh, welcome back. And then uh, I see a lot of new names I don't recognize. So if this is your first webinar with us, welcome aboard. Welcome to IMS. I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about some of the perks that you get when you join our partnership or have that partnership with us. And that's truly what we are. We're a partnership. When when you win, we win. So that's what we're here for. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started with a couple um, couple reminders for those of you already working with us in case you haven't taken advantage of some of these perks. And then for those of you that don't know much about us, want to uh, make sure that you are aware um, of what you what we have to offer when, when you come and uh, be part of our team. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And right out of the gate, when you are contracted with IMS, we want to show you how much we truly appreciate you giving us a shot and show you that partnership that we offer our producers. And we do that by the first six months, any production you're writing, whether that's um, FIAs, whether it's uh, life premium, whatever it might be, whatever level you hit, starting at 100,000, we're gonna give you equivalent to about $750 in cash, whether that's an iPad, a mailing, maybe it's um, marketing analysis or you know formatting or whatever. We have a creative team that I'm gonna talk about here in a moment um, that can literally do it, everything for you, A to Z. Obviously, the more premium you write in that first six months, the uh, the more you get, the more bang you get for your buck. So, um, or our buck, I should say. <laughs> but yeah, keep this in mind as you're writing business and getting contracted with IMS. Next, I don't think there is a better compliment in our field uh, than a referral. I mean, hopefully you are running your business and asking for those referrals because if you're not, you're losing out on a lot of opportunity. We can help you with those ideas. Um, but you know what? We love them too. If you have a colleague or, or somebody else that's in an industry that you feel like would benefit uh, from our services, don't hesitate to shoot them my way. And here's the deal. I'm going to give you, um, or Steve Murray is going to give you um, a little thank you on once a quarter. And it's an override on any of that business, whether it's um, index annuities, MIGA, SPL, Life, Life Target. You can see that you get those basis points there um, on a quarterly basis, a check set from us to you. This doesn't shave a single cent off of your referral. Um, it's just, honestly, we feel like it's good to reward you guys um, for that introduction because without you and without that introduction, we would have never had that production in our door. Um, so yeah, once a quarter, you get a check, no questions asked as long as you're you know, still contracted with IMS, so you're going to get that quarterly check. Next, I'd love to brag about our back office support. We have the best in the industry, I'm telling you. These folks are good at what they do. Um, whether you're looking at just a good old case design, you're talking to your annuity director, or life director about maybe it's an enhanced strategy, maybe it's, you know, just a typical life quote, maybe you need it, you know, quickly because you're 
your appointments in, in an hour and, and just got moved up. We can help you with that. We can rush those things for you. Um, it's all at your fingertips. We have tools on our website, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, and then our new business department, I absolutely love bragging about those guys because they are so good at following up and so good at making sure that your cases are running smoothly, um, scrubbing those applications for you, trying to catch everything they can before it goes to the carrier, and um, just really making making your business run smoother. I mean, if you can imagine staying on the phone for an hour, waiting for a carrier to give you just status on one case, we do that for you. We want you guys out talking to people. We want you doing what you do best, and that's um, creating those relationships and, and handling those appointments. So that's what our back office is there for you to do. I mentioned our website. If you don't have our website saved as a favorite on your browser, I would love for you to do that right now. I'm just going to go to www.imsinc.com. Dot com. Go to your top right little star, save it, and you're done. Um, on here, there is a plethora of information at your fingertips. So whether you're contracted with us or not, you can log in, register to log in, and it's just your email address and your first last name. That's it. Um, but you can do term quote requests. You can have access to a new day rate watch. See what the best MIGA rates are. Um, see who has the highest bonuses for an FIA. That's going to be a big deal this year in our industry, replacing old annuities with something better for the client. Um, so a lot of, lot of information on that. We have our sales resource library, one-page concepts. Everything is pre-approved. Um, and, um, you know, you can slap your name on it, recreate it, put it on one of your flyers, do what you want, and you're always in touch. You got your drip email right there. So all of this doesn't cost you guys a single dime. We are so confident in the resources that we have here at IMS that um, we want to make sure that you have everything at your fingertips. Other than that, you've got your annuity or, or life sales director at your fingertips. So don't hesitate. <clears throat> to use your resources here. Um, another thing that is on our website is Firelight. Now, I have talked to a lot of carriers, and I've got several carriers, and some of you might already see this. Several carriers are requiring an e-app on their MIGAs. They won't accept a paper app. We're seeing, we're seeing that become more and more frequent. And... So I would strongly recommend that if you're not already using Firelight, don't be, don't be afraid to ask us to help you and walk you through it because that's what we're here for. Um, you're going to always have the correct forms. I've had a lot with a couple of particular carriers where they're constantly revamping their disclosure form. And you know, we all know being in our business that just because you're talking to a client doesn't mean that you're going to have the the app filled out and turned in within a couple of days. Sometimes it takes a few weeks because you're gathering information. Well, in that few week time, um, you know, that carrier could change a, a disclosure form, maybe add an indice, maybe do something different. And then you submit that app and guess what? It's going to come back and I go because you have an old form. And doesn't happen on Firelight. So I am... Um, I would strongly encourage that you guys, you know, use Firelight to um, to the max ability that you have. If you need us to walk you through it, absolutely not a problem. If I can walk a 90, uh, oh gosh, 95-year-old agent through this multiple times, I can walk any of you guys through it. So have faith in our ability to walk you through Firelight. You will never ever go back to a paper app after that. Trust me. Moving on. I love to brag about our creative marketing solutions. Our creative folks, you know, Sean, Jacob, Russell, Julie. I mean, these guys are so awesome. Ryan, um, they can literally do anything for you, whether it's creating a brochure you want to leave in your accountant's office, um, attorney's office, you know, for, you know, partnering with them or 
revamping your website, creating your website from scratch, uh, maintaining it, logo revamping, um, digital, social marketing, consulting, whatever. A to Z, these guys have literally a laundry list of all things that they can do for you. So if there is any interest, I mean, this is kind of the stuff we talked about in the new business builders, the first slide I showed you, all of that can be done through our creative marketing staff. So any questions, you wanna to talk to any of these guys, run anything by them, um, they're, they're there to be your consultants as well. I'm gonna run a poll while I talk about this one. Um, I can find it, I'm's Wealth Management, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm launching this poll on I'm's Wealth Management. Now, I don't know, <clears throat> I see a couple of names that are already working with them and you guys can, you know, if I unmuted you, I'm sure that you would just brag about them and say, if you're not using them, use them. But um, I'm's Wealth Management, if you're already registered, they're a great tool. They'll literally do all of the same servicing for you as we do for you on the annuity or life side, um, help you with all of your um, compliance issues. They take care of everything for you. All you have to do is bring the client to them, talk to them about the client, tell them what you need, and they do all the work for you. So on top of that, they take care of your website, take care of all the compliance. Um, very, very competitive on you know fees and things like that. So if you would like to learn more about IMS Wealth Management, talk to my buddy Duncan over there. Go for it, hit yes, and he'll uh, he'll be in touch with you. Now, here's my favorite part of the story with IMS Wealth Management. Now, when I was an agent, um, prior to me getting my six and sixty-three, I had to bring somebody registered on the appointment with me to do the registered business. Well, guess what that meant. He also put himself down 50% on my life app and my FIA, well not FIA, it was a annuity app. Indexes weren't um, there yet, but I didn't need him on those other two apps. I just needed him to help me with the registered stuff that I didn't have my license for, but I got my license eventually. So do you think that he transferred that, the, that client back to me once I got registered? And no, not a chance. Um, I'm 12 Management will. They believe in us being a partnership. So if you are not registered or want to get registered, select yes. Duncan will help you. If um, you don't have any interest in being registered, but you want to make sure that you're controlling your client and keeping them in your backyard and you don't have to share your commission on anything else, click yes and Zach can assist you. But if you do get registered after the fact, Zach and I'm Wealth Management, they're going to transfer that guy back to you and you'll collect those fees or whatever it is. So if that doesn't talk about integrity and trust and partnership, I don't know what does. So um, I look, I'm going to go ahead and close that poll. Thanks everybody for responding. That was a nice response um, and keep on going here, but be sure you ask us if you have any questions on IMS Wealth Management. These guys are awesome. All right, we have our life and annuity training too. It's a two-day academy where we bring in the best of the best, um, take care of uh, a majority of the expenses and all that stuff. You want souvenirs, you're gonna have to pay for that yourself. Um, <laughs> from Omaha or Des Moines, I know that's exciting, but Anyway, you're going to be rubbing elbows with the best in the industry. Um, we only have a, a select number of seats, whether we have it here in Omaha or in Des Moines with one of our carriers. Um, we will uh, be advertising and sending out marketing emails on the next academy. We typically have those in the spring, summer, maybe early fall, um, just because of winter weather here in the in the Midwest can get kind of nasty. So. Keep your eyes open for that. Um, we do have our top producer trips as well. And you can see we're going to do this Newcastle, New Hampshire, uh, Wentworth by the sea, the uh, end of the qualification period on that is 6.30.24. Um, so that will be, that will be a fun, 
fun trip. And then we're working on our next top producer trip as well. Um, we just ended the qualifications for that, but those are 18 month qualifications. Stay tuned to hear more about where our next adventure shall be. And with that, we are a marketing organization. Obviously, we are going to have Facebook and LinkedIn. So if you haven't already shared us, liked us, whatnot, um, here's the addresses to do so. Robert. Yes, ma'am. Hey, are you awake? Hey, are you falling asleep? Are you with me? I'm totally with you. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get to the good stuff. This is what y'all came here to see. <clears throat> get my PowerPoint up here. Apologize for that. Um, so Rob is uh, an extremely um, great partner of us here at IMS. I mean, he's been <clears throat> in the appointment setting business for what, a couple months or five yeah, about years? About two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> a, couple, a few years. Yeah. Yeah, a long time, long, long time. So, I mean, he knows anywhere from how these um, platforms and programs work, how they're set up, how how they're created, um, the owners, the background, all the good stuff on this. And that's what we count on him for because he's ultimately going to help us find the best, um, the best fit for our agents. Um, we don't like to just send you out to a vendor and say, hey, the best of luck to you, see what sticks. Um, no, we're gonna get to know you, see what, your, see what your qualifications are, what would be the best fit for you, and Rob is our partner in doing that. So with that, Rob, I don't know if that was a good enough introduction for you, probably not. It was not. terrible, no, good morning. It was excellent, <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for spending some time with us. We know you're super busy and you know, Happy New Year to those of you that I have not spoken to, because um, even though we're already into February, um, really quick, just want to say something, you know, on IMS, you know, super good group, um, you know, for those of you out there searching for a new maybe IMO, a new agency, uh, there's somebody that can offer a lot of support, you know, and one of the things I see with agents, a couple things, you know, they, at the beginning of the year, everybody's making some type of goal, whether it's personal or or you know in their business side but you know if you if you did if you're one of those people that set a goal which hopefully you did um and you're taking your temperature along the way which i hope you are that's one of the big things the agents don't do you know you got to look at the scoreboard and you can't look at it in the fourth quarter at the two minute warning and go oh man i'm three touchdowns behind that doesn't work um but you're already into the month of february and if you haven't changed anything from this year that you did last year, you are not going to, you know, if your goal was, hey, I made 250 last year, I want to make half a million this year. Two things, if you're not looking at the scoreboard, you aren't going to get there. And if you aren't making any changes, more than likely you're not going to get there. Um, agents get distracted a little bit, you know, as they run through their business trying to figure out, hey, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? You know, how am I going to market to myself? Who's going to build my website? Blah, 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 blah. And you start doing all those items, some of the items Lisa just went over. And, you know, if you'll partner up with somebody with like IMS, you know, and IMS in particular, it'll help you to get all that stuff done. And Lisa said this in the beginning of this, but they have experts over there in the marketing department. Let them be experts in the area where you're not an expert. Um, if you're looking for activity volume, um, and that's what we're going to talk about today is the appointment setting systems that are available through IMS. There's a couple that I represent. Um, there's other ones available if these don't fit you, you know, and the big thing is, you know, if you're interested in any of this, reach out to Lisa and her team over at IMS. They'll help you um, get you lined up with one of them, whether it's through me or not, um, and, and help you to obtain your goal. So, uh, that that's one of the biggest things I think you know on these appointment things that they offer through IMS I would say little four little bullet points before we even start number one these are appointment setting systems they create sell deliver confirm one appointment one time to a single agent number two they never give away anything for free when they're setting appointments you know for those of you out there that have bought some kind of a lead source or appointment setting system in the past 
um, where you go out on the appointment and the person responds, oh, I only wanted to win a free iPad. Oh, I only wanted to register because I wanted to win a free gift card. The companies I deal with do not do any of that. They don't give away anything for free. When they reach out to people, they're talking to them about their retirement, their pension. Um, so they're engaging them about their finances. That's, that's a big thing. And the last thing I want to tell you about them um, that is a little bit different is when they reach out to the clients, these clients schedule their appointment depending on their availability. And um, then the systems pick that up. We'll talk in a minute about how that's delivered to you guys. But essentially, those are the, um, you know, different factors compared to, you know, you going out and buying, you know, 100 leads. Um, granted, they may be cheaper, but you're sitting there wasting a lot of your time dialing for dollars, you know, and what you're going to find is the first 60 people don't answer. The next 30 people are like, take me off the list for the 50th time, not knowing the list has been sold 50 times. And then you've got a shot at the last 10. And the problem with those are you're going to get a lot of the, oh, well, I signed up to win an iPad or I signed up to do this. So um, keep that in mind as you look at some stuff. You know, like I said, you'll be able to reach out to Lisa and the team and and they'll be able to assist you in that. The the preset appointments, they're done virtually. Um, they target a few different markets. You can see them on the screen. It's educators. They do state employees, which is going to be the other thing about colleges, universities, that market. You can do city, county, municipality employees if you'd like. And then the last area, and that's going to be the federal employee market. So. Um, I do want to say one thing really quick, Lise, on the on the virtual side of it. You know, keep that in mind, you guys. There's some of you guys that get so stuck in, you know, oh, I want to be in just this one area. Um, going on virtual appointments and learning how to do them, it's a huge part of the business that's going on. Uh, it gives you the ability to spread your wings. There's many of you that are multi-state licensed. Uh, you know, I just got off the phone earlier this morning than this call and and I uh, was talking to an agent originally from, you know, Pennsylvania area, um, has been living down in Florida for about 15 years now, licensed in both states, buys appointments and writes business in both states. So plenty of opportunity to do business on that side. Lisa, I don't know if you have a quick comment. No, I mean, we can make this as, you know, a lot of these appointment programs, some of them do have uh, requirements, but most of them, there are no, um, you know, three month Contract. commitments yep. and things like that. You do have to be contracted with Dimes, obviously, to access our programs. But um, other than that, you know, if you try it for two or three months, I would say, you know, with anything, you got to have a process. And that is one thing I preach to my agents. If, if you go in here thinking, you know, I'm just going to wing it and you don't understand what that school or state pension is about, you're going to lose credibility. You just lost some marketing dollars, wasting money on your own. And, and that's something that we want to prepare you for. So um, again, Absolutely. I don't win unless you do. So a lot of these appointment, I mean, vendors, you know, they could care less if you write the business or not. They're just selling you an appointment, right? We care about that. At times. So, um, we're going to talk to you individually. Rob helps individually. You know, I don't think that's going to be a good fit for you, but what if we looked at something else? And that's where your value comes here at IMS. Um, so that's about what I'd have to say. You know, we'll help you with that process if you need process training and, you know, to get yourself comfortable before you turn on your leads or appointments. Um, let us know and we can always help you with that. Absolutely. Yep. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click to the next screen here. Maybe. Let's keep us moving. So, <laughs> uh, so I kind of discussed a little bit about this, you know, the prospects okay. responding typically to an email. Um, you know, a lot of agents will go, hey, why aren't they calling somebody? You know, is there a live body involved? And, um, you know, when you say that, unfortunately, you don't really understand how this marketing works. And the other thing is, to be honest with you, you really don't want that to happen. And I'll explain why really short version of it. But essentially, if there is any type of company that is sitting there setting, trying to set appointments with a phone call, 
Um, how do you think they're paid? I want you to think about that. Of course, they're paid by the number of appointments they usually set. Well, if a bulldog gets on the phone with somebody, they're not going to let them off. And then finally, they're going to go, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Tuesday at three o'clock's great, right? The only problem is Tuesday at three o'clock, they're not going to show up. They just did it to get off the phone. So the nice thing about these appointments, when they are set up, they're reaching out to them about their retirement, their, their pension retirement review, I'm typically going to do an income gap analysis. The appointment is booked onto a calendar, and we'll show you that in a moment. No hurry here. Um, and then basically the appointment system would grab that appointment and then it would go look at your calendar and go, oh, well, who's opted in for the state of Kansas in the college market? Oh, Lisa and Rob are. Is Rob available at three o'clock on Tuesday? No, he is not. So it would skip over me. Who else is opted in? Oh, Lisa's opted in. She's available three o'clock on Tuesday. The system would grab that appointment and deliver it to her calendar. So the nice thing is with these, and we'll talk about the calendar a little bit more, but you can block out your calendar for any time you do not want appointments. And it's pretty much that easy. You'll go ahead and register, um, you know, once you get uh, fixed up with uh, Lisa and the team over at IMES, she'll send you back over to me. I'll walk you through the registration. Uh, we'll go in and block out your calendar and pick your markets and block out your calendar for any time you don't want appointments. And, and it is basically sit back and relax and it'll start to fill your calendar. Um, like we said before, these appointments are held, held virtually. We're still not seeing, you know, pre-COVID just so you guys know, and I always walk everybody through this is, you know, everybody was like, hey, I'm going on an appointment, you know, and they get their keys off their nightstand, go start their car up, windshield time, driving through traffic and go meet with a client hopefully that shows up. Um, the nice thing now is you don't have to do any of that. And and uh, most of the agents do very, very well because A, number one, if they want to, and I'm not saying to do this, but if they want to, they can go on three, four appointments a day. Um, so that's a big opportunity because they aren't leaving their office. You know, they're sitting there on the phone. The other nice thing is it gives you the ability to travel and gives you a little bit more freedom. Um, you can be anywhere basically in the world as long as you have access to your phone or a computer and um, you can do a phone call or a Zoom meeting um, from anywhere. So um, that makes it um, very, very enticing on that side for sure. Yep, for sure. Um, we'll keep moving here. Um, a lot of really good points that Rob made there. Uh, there's a lot of different we have several different vendors um, and instead Rob and I kind of talked about how we want to present this and we could we could talk about an hour at each vendor but really we want to kind of give you the highlights on what most of the most of the opportunities are going to see with the vendors that we have and it's going to be you know your rollover it's going to be your life and annuity sales it's going to be 403b's 457 enrollments um things to that nature so you're going to get a little mixture of everything now when you're looking at these appointments you know for an example on the federal side you know we got some specific plans and training programs to put in place for that but if you're not looking at all the opportunity uh, one of the biggest mistakes i see people make is that when they're on these appointments they're like well they didn't have anything they didn't have any rollovers <laughs> okay well you know, how old was they? Tell me a little bit about the client. Why didn't you offer them an IUL or term? Clearly they have a need for I that. I agree with that on that side, Lisa. I think a lot of a lot of people miss it. You know, you could jump into a university, for example, or, you know, uh, go on a K through 12 appointment. And yeah, mm -hmm. maybe they've got a 403B set up or their 401A up and running. Um, but there's plenty of opportunity for life insurance. You know, a lot of these people are provided some type of life insurance in the insurance industry. You guys would call it more of a death benefit because most of the um, terms of employment through these, um, you know, work spaces, you know, whether it's a university or K through 12 um, school district, you know, offer them, you know, 20, 25, $15,000 worth of life insurance, you know, as a death benefit. Um, so it leaves an open, big open door, you know, as far as that. The other thing is, you know, it gives you access to spouses and a bunch of referrals. We do have, 
one of our companies that I deal with personally, you know, buys appointments from us, they get about um, they get about three referrals out of each appointment, but they're making sure they're asking for it as well. So plenty of opportunity there. Lisa had mentioned that at the beginning, make sure you're asking for referrals on stuff, but uh, lots of IUL annuity business written. Um, I would agree with you on that one for sure, Lisa. Yeah, speaking of, um, you know, life insurance and just being well, well-rounded on the, the conversations that you're helping. I mean, you're there to answer their questions and put them in a better spot, right? Um, Absolutely. You know, I've got a few agents that talk about, you know, the beneficiaries. Oh, okay. So I see your brother is a beneficiary. I see your sister-in-law is, um, you know, maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's a trust, whatever. Do you want me to go ahead and reach out to them so that they have my contact information that way in the event something does happen to you? I'm more than happy to be their contact and just make sure they have everything that they need and and you know not have to worry about that aspect of the loss. And uh, most of the time they're gonna say, oh yeah, that'd be great, that'd be great. So you reach out to them and you say, hi, you know, Ron Smith um, has you down as a beneficiary. He may have already told you, I'm gonna call you. I just wanna make sure you have my contact information and hey, you know, I do have you know some availability on my calendar as well. I'm happy to help you with the same thing I helped, you know, Mr. Smith with. And uh, so if that's something that you want to talk about, we can certainly do that. But he's got a death benefit of 500000 Um, So his kids, wife and kids are going to be well taken care of. And it's that easy. I mean, it's an easy conversation and you're doing a good deed for him too. So a lot of opportunity using life insurance. Don't let that out the door. I'm going to keep going, Rob. Let's All right, show let's a calendar. Let's roll it. So here's the calendar, everybody. Cool thing about the calendar, what you see on here. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna hand out the firing morning shot, then I'll let Lisa close on that part with it. But um, the more available are, the more appointments you will get. What you see in green on this calendar is an appointment. So I will tell you, um, in particular, with one of the appointment setting systems that I represent. Um, I know if you leave your calendar totally wide open, he can physically put on there three, four, five appointments a day. So you want to be careful. Um, one of the cool things about this is, you know, hey, I don't work on Fridays. I golf. Good for you. You know what? Block out your calendar. I'm meeting with my client next Thursday at uh, three o'clock. I don't want to be bothered from noon on. No problem. Go in and block out your calendar. Where I think this is really vital, though, for you that have been in this industry for a while, um, you know, we all go on vacation once in a while to enjoy time with our family and and kind of have the fruits of our our, our labor, right, and hard work. Um, the issue is you leave to go to Hawaii on a Friday, and you land, and you finally get there, and by Wednesday, Thursday, you're sitting in the lounge chair, you know, with the pool with the funny umbrella in your drink. And all of a sudden your brain starts going, man, I gotta pay for all this stuff. I gotta get to work on Monday and I don't have anything on my calendar. Not so with these systems. What you would do is you would go in there, you would block out your calendar for that week. Uh, let's just say it's the 15th through the 19th on the picture example we have there. And you'd go in and you'd create a block for vacation time. And um, these appointment setting companies don't care what you're doing. They're not physically looking at these, they're creating, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of appointments a day. Um, so um, they're automatically delivered, but you'd block that calendar out. And then basically what would happen is the system would kind of shut off around the 11th um, of the month in this example. And so you wouldn't be getting any appointments the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, those days. But all of a sudden about on the 17th or the 18th, the system would go, oh, Lisa's calendar is open next week, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th. It would turn around and restart and you'd be laying by the pool with that funny umbrella in your drink and all of a sudden, ding, ding, ding. You'd be looking at your email and all of a sudden you'd see, oh, look, I've already got four appointments for the 22nd. I've got three appointments on the 23rd. I've got three appointments on the 24th and so on. So um, it is kind of a nice system the way it works. And like I said, the other thing about these appointments is the client is actually creating the appointment at the date and the time they want to meet. The appointment's picked up and then it's delivered to an agent in that area who's available. So 
Um, you know, availability what it is what it is all about. Um, because the client is creating the appointments, the no-show rate on these appointments is extremely low. I mean, a lot of times I'll see, um, you know, agents, as long as they follow the um, lead that they get from IMS as far as the process, so to say, um, and you listen to Lisa and her team and you follow that process, there's some of these agents that are seeing, you know, five to to eight percent no-show rate. So it is extremely low. Lisa, I don't know. Do you have any more comments on the calendar and blocking out and, and not taking five appointments a day, at least uh -huh. when you start? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I've had I've had agents that have, you know, 20 years of experience and you know, they're going, Oh yeah, you know, especially like when COVID hit. Oh man, I used to see guys, you know, need and need the table. You know, it'll be the same thing. It's not. It's really not. Um, and that guy just left. You know, he's in a, he's like in Wisconsin, a rural area. Never used Zoom or anything like that before. Um, and he had 17 appointments his first week. So we, we were pretty busy trying to get him so that he was able to get on all those appointments but i never want to see anybody put in that situation again because then he left the second week up and he wasn't able to close anything or much of anything to be honest with you <clears throat> because he had no spots left of her second appointments you know so calendar management is very very uh, important for the success in these appointment setting programs um and i i can't emphasize that enough i would rather you just maybe have two or three appointments your first week Get your rhythm, get your process. Maybe there's something that you need to educate yourself a little bit more on on a particular pension or something like that so that you have that confidence coming right out of the gate and you get that credibility with the client to get that second and third and close that third appointment. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So, and one of the other things I'd say, you know, for those of you, you know, opportunity wise, process wise. I can tell you, you know, 90, it's about 91, 92% of the people that participate in any type of pension have no clue what their retirement's going to be. And that's where your big opportunity is. The other thing is, it's a very neglected part of the market. Um, and I would ask all of you this is, hey, how many of you have a school teacher, a professor, a policeman, a fireman, a, you know, city, county, municipal worker, somebody that participates in a pension? Well, if you guys have been in this industry for a while, most of you would raise your hand and say, of course I do. I would also ask the question to you next of how many of you have ever reviewed their pension? Well, I've asked that question before to a crowd of 10,000 agents. I had five hands left in the air after that last question. So lots of opportunities. You know, one of the, uh, one of the areas agents struggle in is they always tell me is, hey, it seems like everybody that has a job and has some income already has a financial planner. How do I get around it? Well, it's by showing you're more knowledgeable than the person they have. And um, and so that's where some of the opportunity lies. Um, Lisa and her team will get into that more, you know, once you reach out to those guys. But that's that's one of the biggest opportunities that I really see. Would you agree on that, Lisa? Oh, 100%. 100%. That's it's all about that credibility, all about gaining that trust out of the gate. And you know, one of my favorite things to do is, you know, after you've gone through, you know, kind of a review and you know, your first conversation. And I think I got this from Curtis Hawks, but um, you know, just you know, to tell him, hey, I don't want to duplicate any efforts. Are you already working with somebody? And what has he already put together for you, he or she? And you just shut up and let them think about it. And they're like, well, he hasn't put anything together for me. We haven't even talked about this. He just took my rollover. That's it. Oh, well, that kind of surprises me. If, how do you do a rollover if you don't know what your plan is? It just puts that question in their mind. Sit back and let them think Please. about it. What do we have next, Lisa, in our slides? All right. Sorry, I thought you were going to say something else. Um, all right. Let's talk about some prices. Industry Absolutely. Type price, uh, industry-wide industry prices. I mean, there's 
Um, most of the programs that we're working with on this one, um, you know, there are setup fees and things like that, but I'm to take care of that for you. And uh, for looking at the, we're looking at the colleges, um, school districts, municipalities, we can get you appointments with one of our vendors for about $64 per appointment. Now these are preset appointments. These aren't people that you gotta hound and try to get an appointment with. They're already a preset appointment and the client is taking the initiative to set that time and day on the calendar. And like Rob mentioned before, you know, if you're available on that same time that they are, then you'll be getting a notification, email, text saying, hey, you've got an appointment with George um, Smith on Thursday at 10 a.m. Absolutely. Um, there's all, I do kind of want to go over a couple of their options, um, you know, that we're ramping out, you know, for 2024. Uh, depending on, and this is where it's going to be very, very important that you're talking to Rob or you're talking to myself or one of your um, annuity directors or life directors on the key type of business that you want to, you really want to focus on. So if you have no interest working with school districts, then, you know, we're going to go a totally different route. If you only want like super qualified appointments, you know, you get what you pay for. Those are people that are going to be an average of, you know, have a, assets of 250000 We've got those two, but those can run anywhere between three and $400 per, um, per prospect. Um, so it just kind of depends on how you want to work with, with, with your marketing budget and how you want to work your business. Um, we, we've got the, we've got the options for all of them. So, um, Rob, you want to talk a little bit about the federal side of things? Absolutely. You know, so the federal market, um, plenty of opportunities there as well. Um, nice thing in the federal market for those of you that have worked it, uh, there is some um, easiness to it. I mean, as far as multiple states because of federal pensions, the federal pension, um, it is a little bit of a compressed market. For those of you that, um, that want to get into that, you know, the appointment prices in that area are going to start at about $74 and go up from there. I know IMS has some other options um, that that I don't represent, but um, but Lisa can can help you with that if you guys want to reach out. The other thing is, I know Lisa, and I don't know if you guys want to talk about it right now, but or if you want to talk about it on this call, but I know you're rolling out a kind of a learning program too in that federal side or you have a federal learning program where you know an agent can participate in that and you guys that's a huge opportunity to jump into another market and have somebody that's been very successful in the industry help you out and and uh and uh and and basically hold your hand take your hand train you to be able to um know what's going on in the market so that's another really big opportunity at least in my eyes um, I personally know this individual, um, very successful in that market. And so, you know, on that side of it, I would say reach out to, to Lisa and her team and, and, uh, and they can get further into that discussion with you, you know, if that's something that interests you as well. Um, other than that, I, I don't think there's a lot more to cover on that federal side, Lisa, unless you have any other oh, comments. Oh, no. I mean, you threw out a pretty big <laughs> teaser on that one. Thanks, Rob. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I didn't know how much I could divulge, so that's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know what? That's enough to be dangerous. Enough to be dangerous. So um, if anybody was on our Ascend, we did talk about this opportunity on our Ascend um, kickoff that we had. Geez, what was that, last week, I guess? Um, and so basically, you know, there's going to be an upfront fee. You're going to have all the learning modules. Um, I talked a little bit about having that sales process. If you don't have a solid sales process that you're comfortable with, um, you know, if your client's going to feel that on the other end, they're going to be like, this is really choppy. I don't know if I feel comfortable working with this guy. Um, so having that solid sales process will help your closing rate immensely. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ramp this thing off. Uh, stay tuned on some of our marketing emails. Um, I'll be doing a webinar on that one as well. Um, I don't know if Rob's gonna um, be able to join us on that. I'm sure he 
Will, um, and then his buddy that's um, that's kind of in charge of this program um, that he's going to have you know access exclusively with us here at IMS. But it's going to be on the federal side. Um, yeah, you know, there's going to be some somewhat of a discount for the federal leads, I believe. And then you're going to literally know everything about federal pensions um, before. And I believe he even makes you take some sort of like a, a quiz or an exam, you know, to make sure you're darn good, ready um, to to start paying for these appointments and have that high success rate, high that that high closing rate, which is absolutely. Huh. That's what we want, right? <laughs> exactly. So. I mean, it's just another option, you guys. I mean, I think the big thing is IMS has, you know, we what we've discussed here today, you know, is is there's a few options there, but there's more available through IMS as well, and and uh, so there's plenty of opportunity on that side. If if you go, hey, I don't want to do this market or that market or any of the markets we discussed, you know, there's some there's some other opportunities there. At least, what were you gonna? I'll let you roll on. You're going to talk about some of those right now. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But real quick, I do have a, a question for you in the inbox here. And um, what are the time frames of you know these appointment programs so for the most part? Excellent question. So basically, the system run these systems run Monday through Friday, essentially 7 a.m. till about 6 p.m. at night. Um, the big thing there is, like I said, hey, if you're not a morning person, no problem. Or you're busy in the morning, no problem. You'd go in, you'd put a block on your calendar, say from 7 a.m. till you don't want your first appointment till 10 a.m. You'd block it out from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. And let's just say you wanted to receive appointments from 10 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You'd leave that 10 to 3 wide open on your calendar. And then from 3 o'clock, till seven o'clock, you would place another block on your calendar. But essentially Monday through Friday, so five days a week, you know, the working days, any days you do not want to work, you know, go in and block out. Any days you're on vacation, go in and block out. Hey, I want a trip to the IMS thing to go to New Hampshire. I'm going to be gone next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Go into your calendar, block it out. No problem. You won't receive any appointments. So um, that's one of the really, really cool things about this. It's looking for open availability on your calendar, um, which is huge. What what other questions did you have in there, Lisa? Um, I think I answered a lot of them here. Um, but you know, just kind of touch base on this screen that I've got up right now as a recap. Um, you know, it's our job here at IMS to know what's what's out there and available as far as vendors and marketing options for for you. I know you're getting hit by a ton of different folks every day. I hear some people get hit by 15 a day, which is insane. Um, but like I said, I don't like to just throw a bunch of stuff at you. Here's our vendor book. You know, give it a shot. Let me see what works for you. You know, you know, throw things at the wall, see what sticks. No, nope, that's not going to work for us. Um, it's not my marketing dollars that you're wasting. It's yours. So yeah, I, and I think Lisa, one thing I'm important on that and, and everybody out there listening in right now, um, you know, when you reach out to IMS, that's why Lisa wants you to call, right? She can have a one on one discussion with you, mm -hmm. you know, find out what you've done in the past, where you've succeeded, maybe where you failed and um, steer you based on that to, you know, possibly one of these other you know, deals, you know, one of the things on, on the screen right now, you know, high-end qualified leads or $350 lead, space is limited. I don't have anything to do with that vendor. As a matter of fact, I don't know who that vendor is, but um, <laughs> I've heard some good response from that. So, I mean, maybe um, if the $64 appointment doesn't fit you and you're going, hey, I don't want to work the college market. I don't want to work the K through 12 market. I want somebody that's a little more qualified and I have the money to spend, great. She'll be able to steer you in that direction. So, um, you know, we don't have enough time to present all of this to you in one sitting, um, if that makes sense. But I think that's where the opportunity lies. Like I said, if you reach out to Lisa, she can have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with you, find out what suits you the best, because that's really what matters is, hey, what, what fits okay. you the best and where will you succeed? Right. Absolutely. So lean on us for that, guys. I um I promise you won't be disappointed. And 
I think we are uh, getting close out of time here. I want to thank everybody. I'm going to launch one more poll here. Um, if you're not already contracted with IMS and you're interested about knowing more of the perks and that partnership, go ahead and click yes at the box here um, or this poll question, I should say. You want to have a call set up with Rob directly, with me, or maybe you're already working with the annuity director. Um, we're all a team here. Or just, I mean, our success is built on your success. So, um, yeah, one of the one of the things I want to say on that too, for those of you not associated with IMS, you know, and I deal with a lot of different companies out there. This is one of my my favorite bragging things, and I know Steve Steve Murray personally very well, super good guy that you know is the main Aww. principal over at IMS, um, and I have a great just outside friendship with them as well. Is you know these guys, um, these guys are the <laughs> One of the only ones in the industry, and some of you will think this is funny, but, you know, I call these guys three, four times a week because I have a lot of interaction with them. And there's always a live body that's picking up the phone. And I want to tell you something. It rarely rings over two or three rings. These guys are Johnny on the spot. And I think that where that really helps an agent is, you know, I said this in the beginning of it about getting organized, you know, making sure you're taking your temperature, check the score kind of deal. I mean, all that's really relevant um, to what you're doing. And I see a lot of agents that are spending two thirds of their day trying to figure out, hey, how do I market myself? You know, how do I get in front of people? Who's gonna help me build my website? Um, how, do I, how do I figure out what's the best product for my 55 year old um, female, you know, that's single and making X dollars right now? Well, that's why you have IMS. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, you utilize that um, the 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 path. I can tell everyone here whether it's your goal is this year to make 250, 350, 550, a million, two million. Your goal to get there is by being more efficient, and you're one person and you cannot do it all. And so take the opportunity to partner up with somebody like Ims to be able to take you to that next level. They take mm -hmm. that other stuff off your plate. I mean, look, if you're just doing your own marketing right now and you come in and Lisa hooks you up with whatever appointment company it is through IMS, um, and they take that off your plate and they free up two thirds of your day. Well, in that two thirds of your day, you can do a couple of things. Maybe you can spend more time with your family, but you could also spend more time doing what? Sitting or talking. I call it kneecap to kneecap, and now it's Zoom to Zoom, screen to screen, whatever. It's on the phone with a client. And when you're on the phone with the client, that's where you make your money. And so when you want to hit that goal and you're like, hey, you know, at the end of the year, I want to be going to the Super Bowl. Well, you got to keep track of your, um, you know, of your season, so to say, you know, you need to be looking. Hey, if you want to do a million bucks a year, you know, at the end of the first quarter, you better make 250 grand. And at the half year mark, you should be sitting around 500. And if you're above it, great. But if you're below it, then you know you need to get on the pony. A lot of us set these goals and, and uh, you know, and then we don't look at them until, like I said, it's December or we don't look at them until the following January. And you're like, well, make the goal again, but I didn't make it. Well, it's because you didn't, you didn't take your temperature and keep score and you didn't utilize the tools that you have available to you. So utilize mm -hmm. some of these tools that, that Lisa and Imes are offering up, whether it's the appointments or, or you know, some of the other great tools they have over there. I mean, I've I've gone to some of their conventions, some of their workshops and stuff, and there's lots of opportunities of other tools out there that can help you um, close sales. So that would be my my final my final speech for the day, and I appreciate everybody here, Lisa. Yep. Well, with that, I think we're just going to wrap this up a couple minutes early so you guys can get on with your day and you know, do what you do best and, and be in front of folks, creating those relationships, helping them put them uh, they're in a financially better uh, position. And if you need any help with that whatsoever, holler at myself or anybody, you know, call the 800 number. We're all here to help you succeed. So, um no favoritism there. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate everybody's time, Rob. Appreciate your friendship, your partnership. You're the best. And um, I want to wish everybody a happy Monday and have a great week. Take care, everybody.